Hey, what up guys? Just a quick tutorial on how to use GitHub, which is really useful for a lot of reasons like version control, collaboration, issue tracking, and so on. But basically it's putting your code online as opposed to having it locally on your machine all the time. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get started. Now, if you haven't installed Git, then just follow the instructions for the platform that you have. So for example, for me, I've got a Mac. So what you can do is just type this in your terminal, but I've already done that. So just make sure to install Git first. And I've got here a brand new Flutter project, which is just a demo counter app, which is what you get by default. So what we're gonna do is try to put this on GitHub. Now, if you go to github.com and go into your account, I'm going to click on this plus icon and create a new repository. Now I'm just gonna call it counter app and let's click create repository. And you can see some basic instructions here. So I'll show you what you can do. So we've created our repo and now in our app, we can run these commands. So let's start with git init. And then git add with a dot, which will just add everything in the code. And then let's make our first commit. So you say git commit dash M and write a message. I'm gonna say first commit. And then we need to push an existing repo from the command line. So git remote add origin, and you can see this GitHub link. And then finally, git branch in the main. And then we can push it. Awesome. And then if you refresh the page, you can see there's the code. And if I just go to the main, you can see it's all here. So that's how you upload your code. Now let's say we make some changes. Coming back to the Flutter code, if I change this to blue, then what we need to do is firstly, you can say git status to check if anything's changed. So you can see the main.dart file has been modified. And then I'm gonna say git add dot to add it all. And then we can do the commit and type in a message to just describe what was different. So I'm just gonna say, changed color to blue. And then let's say git push. Cool, and if you come back to your code and then refresh the page, you can actually see that it says two commits. And so you can see the previous versions and go to the code for each version. So it's purple here. And then if I go to the new version, the new commit, you can see what's changed. Purple is now blue. Cool, and that's it. So on a very basic level, that's how you use GitHub. And you should be doing this if you are a coder.